Um, question number 42 is also a question from a cycle theorem. It says in a figure below we are referring to this diagram line RT because of this line on top it is referring to as a straight line and you can see it here RT a straight line is a diameter of the cycle. Remember a diameter uh, is that line that divides a cycle into two equal parts. So this is the line we are referring to. You can see it here from T to R is the diameter. Of this cycle PQRST, PQRST, round the cycle, we are referring to the cycle entirely. All right, if the angle PQR is 109 degrees, PQR, look at it, PQR, we are referring to this uh, angle here. We are asked to find angle P R T. P from here, R T. So this is the angle we are looking for. Let me even call it X. P R then T. This is the angle we are looking for. There are a couple of ways for which we can solve this question. Well, let me see if I can try three different ways. The first one, remember the previous question we have solved, it stated that a quadrilateral which is inscribed in a cycle, if and only if it all vertices touches the circumference, the sum of the interior opposite angles of that quadrilateral equals 180 degrees. So look at this plane figure here, P, Q, R, S. P, Q, R, let me even draw it, P, Q, R, S, then back to P. If you look at it, it is a quadrilateral. You know a quadrilateral is a plane figure that have four sides and four angles. So this angle here and this angle here, they are just opposite to one another. This means that if we add them together, we are going to obtain 180 degrees. So now let us find this angle P, S, R. P, S, R, which is an angle, will be equal to 180 degrees minus uh, PQR. We are dealing with objective, don't forget, which is 109 degrees. And this is equal to 71 degrees. So it means that this angle here, let me even write it, is 71 degrees. Remember, our target is here. Then from the same theory of cycle, if you have a code that form an angle to the center, that figure is an isosceles triangle. I remember an isosceles triangle is that type of triangle that has equal, uh, equal base angles and the opposite side are also equal. So this means that if this is an isosceles triangle, this side will also be equal to 71 degrees, isosceles property. Then for law of a triangle, it says that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles. So if we are looking for this angle here, we are going to take the sum of the interior opposite angles. And if you add these two together, you will obtain uh, 142. This means that angle here is 142 degrees. Our main target is here. And this is a code, P, R. Form an angle to the center. Remember, it is an isosceles triangle. This is an isosceles triangle, PRO. It's an isosceles triangle. If it is an isosceles triangle, the base angles are the same. And if this is X, this will, will definitely be X. So we are now free to find the value of X. You can see this, an isosceles triangle is also a triangle, and the sum of all the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. And hence, if we add all these three angles, we shall obtain um, 180 degrees. So we are free to add them together. 
by saying x plus x plus this angle here 142 degrees will be equal to 180 degrees x plus x is equal to 2x um, if you take this to the right it becomes negative this is equal to 180 um, minus 142 and 180 degrees minus 142 degrees is equal to 38 degrees this is 2x but what we are looking for is x not 2x therefore we can divide both sides by 2 divide both sides by 2 this cancel this x is now equal to 19 degrees and therefore this angle which is the required angle we are looking for angle prt uh, this is prt is equal to 19 degrees and we have it here as option e but let me show you another way you can find this angle in cycle theorem it says that the reflex angle here from here to here is two times this angle here if it is two times this angle here by multiplying this by two we are going to get this reflex angle so reflex angle um, P O R P O R will be equal to 2 multiplied by 109 and this is equal to 2 18 218 and if this is 218 remember angle at the center is equal to 360 degrees and therefore angle P O R which is the internal one will be equal to 360 degrees minus the reflex angle which we have obtained as 218 degrees and if you subtract this from this you shall obtain back this 142 uh, if this is 142 you can uh, apply the same uh, principle of uh, isosceles triangle to obtain the two uh, opposite angles which in the end you divide by two to find a separate angle for each uh, side so let us move on to question number 43